When the German colonial office placed a request in 1907 for an all-wheel drive vehicle for the German part of Southwest Africa, the so-called Dernburg Wagen was created. It featured all-wheel drive and all-wheel steering. The Persian Shah wanted a real off-road vehicle capable of driving over absolutely anything. This caused such demand and interest worldwide that the decision was then made to create the G-Model series. In August 1979, the finished vehicle was brought out on the market under the name G-Model. I was 12 years old when the G-Class came onto the market. At the time, what I noticed most was the breathtakingly new and modern shape with the front of the vehicle and the boxy wheel arches in a different color. This gave the vehicle that solid, robust look. For me, the G-Class embodies the very idea of an off-roader. Authentic, strong character, very individual. There is, of course, an abundance of stories about the G-Class. One of the most excellent ones is the Paris-Dakar victory of Jackie Eakes. Other than that, the Pope Mobile is world-renowned, but also smaller stories about driving in the Himalayas at altitudes in which humans would need to carry around oxygen bottles. In the automotive field, it's of course somewhat rare that a vehicle be produced for such a long time with its underlying message remaining unchanged. Thus, particularly when it comes to the facelift of such an icon, a great deal of tact is required. The basic message of the vehicle won't change. Elements of its design will be adopted and interpreted in a modern way. Out there, there's a fan club and a loyal customer base who quite simply are awaiting this charismatic vehicle with bated breath. For them, the G is a cult item and they ensure that it stays this way.